Hello and welcome back to Immortal News. In today's video, we'll be sharing important updates about individuals from the celebrity world who have sadly passed away today, July 30th, and in recent days. We have special tributes to honor them later in the broadcast. In addition to this, we will be discussing the current health situations of both Madonna and Darren. It's a challenging time for both their families and fans, and your compassion is much appreciated. Before we delve into these stories, we request a moment of your time. If you value our tributes and news, please show your support by giving this video a like. Each like encourages us to deliver more news, more updates, and more of the content you love. We're grateful for your continued support. Now without further ado, let's begin with our stories. Please stay tuned. Number 10. George Wilson. A champion on the court and an inspirational figure off it. George Wilson, a prominent American professional basketball player, passed away at the age of 81 on July 29th. Wilson's prowess on the court was evident from his high school days in Chicago's Marshall High School, leading his team to two state championships and earning the Chicago Sun-Times Player of the Year award. At the University of Cincinnati, he won admiration for his skills and contribution to the Bearcats, helping secure their second consecutive national title. Notably, he was a part of the U.S. Olympic basketball team that clinched gold at the 1964 Summer Olympics in Tokyo, a testament to his remarkable abilities. In his seven-season NBA career, Wilson played for various teams including the Cincinnati Royals, Chicago Bulls, and Seattle Supersonics, averaging 5.4 points and 5.2 rebounds per game. Off the court, Wilson was equally inspiring, serving as a YMCA director and participating in the Senior Olympics. He was recognized as one of the 100 legends of the IHSA Boys Basketball Tournament in 2006 and inducted into the Ohio Basketball Hall of Fame in 2010. His legacy lives on, both in his numerous contributions to the game and his enduring impact on those he inspired. Tributes to George Wilson. Number 9. Clive Rowlands. A monumental figure in Welsh rugby, Clive Rowlands, an esteemed former Wales captain, coach, manager, and Welsh rugby union president, passed away at the age of 85 on July 29th. Known affectionately as Top Cat for his brilliant strategic acumen, Rowlands left an indelible mark on Welsh rugby during his tenure from 1968 to 1974. During this period, he steered the national team to the Triple Crown in 1969 and the Grand Slam in 1971. Throughout his 14 test appearances from 1963 to 1965, Rollins led the team from the scrum half position. Before transitioning to coaching, he played for Pontypool, Lanelli, and Swansea. As a coach, he won 18 of his 29 games with Wales, making him one of the most successful figures in Welsh rugby history. In 1987, Rowland served as the manager for the Wales team that secured third place at the inaugural Rugby World Cup. Two years later, he managed the victorious British and Irish Lions on their Australian tour. Rowlands was also the president of the Welsh Rugby Union in 1989-90. Away from the pitch, Rowlands was a staunch advocate of the Welsh language and frequently offered insightful commentary on BBC Radio Simru. His dedication to his home village of Upper Kwumtwurch in the Swansea Valley was evident until his last days. Tributes to Clive Rowlands. Number 8. Malcolm Deus, a revered historian and Colombian culture expert Malcolm Deus, renowned British historian, known for his comprehensive study of Colombian social and historical reality, passed away on July 29th. Deus dedicated his career to studying and understanding Colombia in depth. Deus began his academic journey at the prestigious All Souls College at the University of Oxford, where he was an integral member of the Latin American Center. His first visit to Colombia marked the beginning of his lifelong fascination and commitment to studying the history and political life of the Andean nation. As an educator at Oxford from 1966 until his retirement in 2008, 
Deas made significant contributions to the field through his lectures, numerous essays, and books. His passion for ancient literature and his remarkable ability to encapsulate the Colombian reality through revealing anecdotes made him a respected figure in his field. In 2008, Deas received two accolades, the Colombian citizenship from President Álvaro Uribe for his commitment to the study of Colombian history, and an homage from the National Museum and the Society of Oxford graduate students for his academic labor and intellectual legacy. His works and his magnificent library remain as a testament to his life's work and dedication to Colombian history. Malcolm Deus will be profoundly missed. Tributes to Malcolm Deus. Number 7. Eddie Long, An Indelible Legacy in Ice Hockey Eddie Long, a distinguished figure known as Mr. Comet, passed away on July 29 at the age of 90. Long, at the tender age of 19, became an original Comet, playing for the Fort Wayne Comets for 14 consecutive seasons from 1952 to 1966. In his illustrious career spanning 801 games, Long amassed an impressive 852 points and still holds the franchise record for most career goals scored at 425. Notably, during the 1962-63 season, he led with 56 goals, helping the Comets capture their first IHL Turner Cup championship. That year, Long alongside Len Thornson was awarded the Most Valuable Player honor. After his retirement, Long didn't part ways with the sport he loved so dearly. He became the Comets' head coach in 1964, leading the team to its second championship that same season. Beyond his professional career, Long dedicated his time to coaching and teaching at the youth and high school hockey levels, touching many young lives. Long's dedication and passion for the Comets were so profound that he was the first Comet to have their number retired. His number 16 was retired on March 27, 1966, a fitting tribute to a player whose impact on the team will always be remembered. Eddie Long, a player, a coach, and an ambassador of the Comets, lived a well-lived life, influencing the team and sport with his undeniable passion. His memory will forever be intertwined with the history of the Comets. Tributes to Eddie Long. Number 6. Alan Hugh Schoen, a luminary in physics and computer science. Alan Hugh Schoen, a preeminent American physicist and computer scientist, passed away on July 26 at the age of 98. Schoen's career was marked by significant contributions to science and education. He is best remembered for his discovery of the gyroid, a minimal surface that continues to fascinate scientists with its unique structure and frequent occurrences in nature. Schoen's groundbreaking research while at NASA, combined with his inquisitive nature, led him to this significant discovery. Schoen also had a knack for teaching, imparting knowledge at prestigious institutions such as the California Institute of the Arts and Southern Illinois University Carbondale. His lessons extended beyond the confines of a classroom, as he often used his love for puzzles and geometry to educate and inspire others. Schoen's invention of the rhombics puzzle and creation of the Geometry Garrett website are notable examples of his unique pedagogical approach. Throughout his life, Schoen consistently blurred the lines between science, education, and art, leaving behind a multifaceted legacy. His dedication to exploring the intricacies of the physical world and his passion for sharing this knowledge will continue to inspire future scientists and educators. Tributes to Alan Hugh Schoen Number 5. Anthony Potts, A Life of Service and Heroism Anthony Potts, the United States lost a respected and heroic figure with the tragic passing of 
aged 59, in a single-engine plane crash in Maryland on July 24. Renowned for his 36-year distinguished career in the U.S. Army, Potts was renowned for his commitment, valor, and leadership. Commissioned as a second lieutenant in 1987, Potts served with honor and distinction in operations including Desert Shield, Desert Storm, Enduring Freedom, and Iraqi Freedom. Early in his career, he piloted an AH-64 Apache attack helicopter, later becoming a combat instructor for the aircraft. His pivotal role at Aberdeen Proving Ground, where he commanded a team of 1,600 developing upgraded military technology, further underscored his significance to the Army. Potts's bravery and dedication were recognized with several prestigious awards, including the Legion of Merit, a Bronze Star, and an Air Medal with Valor device. His recent announcement of retirement as a Program Executive Officer for Command, Control, and Communications Tactical underlined his long-standing dedication to the armed forces. Survived by his wife Jennifer and his two children Taylor and Cynthia, Potts leaves behind a legacy of selflessness, courage, and unyielding commitment to his nation. His contributions to the military and his unwavering sense of duty will not be forgotten. Tributes to Major General Anthony Potts. Number 4. Danila Comastri Montanari, a luminary in the world of historical mysteries. Danila Comastri Montanari, a towering figure in the literary world of historical mysteries, passed away at 74 on July 28. With double degrees from the University of Bologna and a past career in teaching, Montanari truly found her calling in 1990 when she penned her debut novel, Mors Tua. With her talent for intertwining the intricacies of ancient civilizations with tantalizing mysteries, she soon rose to prominence, becoming a favored author in the genre. Her most enduring creation, Publio Aurelio Stazio, a noble senator from Claudian Rome, featured in a successful series of 19 novels. The saga, which spans from 1990's Mors Tua to 2017's Ludus in Fabula, paints a vivid picture of ancient Roman society while keeping readers enthralled with complex cases. Montanari's work wasn't confined to this series. She ventured into different historical periods and even shared her insights on writing historical mysteries in her 2007 essay, Giallo Antico. Colleagues such as Maurizio Di Giovanni and Carlo Lucarelli have paid heartfelt tributes to her, extolling her vibrant personality and immense contribution to literature. She was an exemplar of intellectual prowess, underscored by her membership of Mensa, the International Association for High IQ Individuals. Montanari's literary legacy will continue to inspire generations of readers and writers alike. Tributes to Danila Comastri Montanari. Number 3. Justin Yerbury, an inspiring fighter and renowned neurobiologist Justin Yerbury, a remarkable figure in the field of neurodegenerative disease research, passed away on July 28 cause of his battle with motor neuron disease. Despite being diagnosed with the disease himself in 2016, Yerbury continued his groundbreaking research until the end. Yerbury was not only an accomplished scientist, but also a former professional basketball player for the Illawarra Hawks. His life took a dramatic turn when several family members were diagnosed with MND, also known as ALS or Lou Gehrig's disease. He shifted his focus to biological research, eventually earning a PhD from the University of Wollongong in 2008. His relentless pursuit of knowledge led to substantial contributions in understanding MND. His scientific curiosity combined with his personal experiences made him a passionate advocate for those affected by the disease. His numerous accolades include the Australian Society for Medical Research, Young Investigator Award, the Bill Goal Postdoctoral MND Research Fellowship, and the Wollongong's Citizen of the Year Award. In 2020, 
He was recognized as a member of the Order of Australia for his significant service to education and research in the field of biological sciences. Yerbury leaves behind his wife Rachel and two daughters. Despite his passing, his impact on neurodegenerative disease research will persist through the young researchers he mentored who are determined to continue his work. Tributes to Justin Yerbury. Now it's time to remember the legends who passed away in the past years. Number 2. Pat Carroll A masterful transformation from television to stage Pat Carroll, a television stalwart who reinvented herself as a critically acclaimed stage actress, passed away at the age of 95 in her home on Cape Cod, Massachusetts on July 30, 2022. After years of performing on popular game shows and sitcoms like Password and The Mary Tyler Moore Show, and even providing the voice of Ursula in Disney's The Little Mermaid, Carol transitioned to the stage, earning immense recognition for her dramatic performances. Her defining moment came in 1977, when she commissioned playwright Marty Martin to create a one-woman play about poet Gertrude Stein. Gertrude Stein, Gertrude Stein, Gertrude Stein, which debuted off-Broadway in 1979, was a resounding success leading to Drama Desk and Outer Critics Circle Awards in 1980 for Carol. In 1981, her recording of the play won a Grammy in the Best Spoken Word category. In the 1990s, Carol challenged traditional gender roles, portraying the male character Falstaff in The Merry Wives of Windsor at the Folger Shakespeare Theatre. This performance solidified her reputation as an adaptable and daring performer, a reputation further bolstered by her three Helen Hayes Awards for outstanding lead and supporting actress roles. Beyond her professional achievements, Carol was a dedicated mother and grandmother. Despite her passing, her diverse body of work from the silver screen to the stage ensures her place in the annals of entertainment history. Tributes to Pat Carroll Number 1. Gloria De Haven, a sweetheart of classic movie musicals and embodiment of vintage Hollywood Gloria De Haven, renowned for her roles in the musicals of the 1940s and 50s and adored by wartime servicemen as a fantasy hometown sweetheart, passed away at the age of 91 on July 30, 2016. Born to vaudeville stars Carter De Haven and Flora Parker, De Haven entered the show business at a young age, beginning her career as Paulette Goddard's little sister in Charlie Chaplin's Modern Times. De Haven's legacy spans a spectrum of roles, notably in Best Foot Forward, Two Girls and a Sailor, and Step Lively, where she starred opposite a young Frank Sinatra. Her portrayal of Judy Garland's stage-struck sister and Gene Kelly's love interest in Summerstock is fondly remembered, as is her cameo as her own mother in Three Little Words, De Haven's vocal prowess made her a beloved figure in the big band era. Despite her limited discography, her hit Stanley Steamer in 1946 attest to her remarkable singing ability. De Haven's career extended into television, where she notably featured in popular dramas like As the World Turns, Ryan's Hope, and All My Children. Her last film appearance was in Out to Sea, a fitting farewell as she humorously navigated a cruise ship full of lonely women alongside Jack Lemmon. Dee Haven was not only a versatile talent in film and television, but also a dedicated mother to her four children, two of whom she had with actor John Payne and two with Miami auto dealer Richard Fincher. Gloria Dee Haven's enchanting presence in movie musicals and her memorable roles on television leave behind a rich legacy in the annals of Hollywood. Her life and career marked by her unyielding spirit, vibrant talent, and the charming personification of a bygone era of Hollywood glamour. Tributes to Gloria De Haven.
We now transition to updates on the health of Madonna and Darren. Madonna's Road to Recovery, an Instagram update amid health concerns. Music icon. Madonna is back in the spotlight, this time sharing her health progress following her hospitalization due to a bacterial infection. The singer, known for her unparalleled resilience, took to social media to celebrate life, health, and the enduring impact of her music. On Thursday, the 64-year-old star used her Instagram platform not only to share an update on her health, but also to commemorate the 40th anniversary of her groundbreaking debut album. She showcased a brief dance clip with the hit Lucky Star from the 1983 album playing in the background. In a moment of gratitude, Madonna wrote, To be able to move my body and dance just a little bit makes me feel like the luckiest star in the world. She extended her heartfelt thanks to her fans and friends who have offered their support during her health crisis, saying, You must be my lucky stars too, and happy 40th birthday to my very first album. The pop sensation had given her followers a glimpse into her recovery journey just last week. A series of selfies she posted illustrated her recuperation process, proving that Madonna remains a force to be reckoned with, even while convalescing. Earlier in the month, Madonna's manager, Guy Ossieri, had shed light on the severity of her condition. He disclosed that the star had spent several days in the ICU battling a serious bacterial infection. This recent Instagram update suggests that Madonna is making progress in her recovery and is on her way back to her usual high-energy self. Even in a challenging time, the Queen of Pop maintains a positive outlook and remains connected to her supportive fan base. The health update interwoven with the celebration of her musical milestone showcases her indomitable spirit and affirms that her star continues to shine bright. YouTube star Darren Aisho Speed faces health crisis, a struggle with severe cluster headaches. Darren, also known as Aisho Speed, a beloved figure among younger generations on the YouTube platform, has recently shared an update about his alarming health condition. This development unfolded on July 30th, 2023, when the popular YouTuber took to the virtual world to address his audience about the severe headaches he has been enduring. A few days before this update, Darren had uploaded a disconcerting video ominously titled, I Might Die By. In this video, he disclosed his struggle with a debilitating type of severe headache known as cluster headaches. According to his recent update, Darren is currently grappling with one of the most severe episodes of this condition. The pain is so intense that it prevents him from even opening his eyes or carrying out fundamental tasks such as eating or sleeping. Darren described his agony in vivid terms, likening it to a persistent, violent hammering in his head. In a follow-up video, Darren appeared with his right eye noticeably swollen, prompting an immediate surgery. Amid the confusion about his condition and the fear of what lies ahead, Darren expressed his desire for the continual support of his fans. He also noted that, in light of these ongoing health complications, he would be taking a break from travel upon his return from a trip to Japan. As news of Darren's health troubles spread, concerned fans quickly reacted on Twitter. The update about his health swiftly became viral, with a flurry of responses ranging from expressions of concern to messages of support and wishes for a quick recovery. Several dedicated fan accounts shared the update, while others directly sent their words of encouragement and affection to Darren. It has been reported that Darren underwent a CT scan as part of his medical investigations and further updates on his condition will be disclosed once the results are known. This unfolding event underscores that health issues do not discriminate and can impact anyone, regardless of their online persona or perceived invulnerability. Our thoughts are with Darren, or I show speed, during this challenging time, and we hope he will soon be back in good health. Thank you for joining us today on Immortal News. As we honor those who have recently passed and provide updates on current events, we are reminded of the fragility of life and the enduring strength of legacy. If you haven't seen it yet, we invite you to watch our tribute to the 12 big stars who passed away in July in our previous broadcasts. Their stories continue to inspire us, and their memories remain imprinted on our hearts. As always, we appreciate your support. Please continue to like our videos and share them with your community.
Together, we can celebrate these extraordinary lives and their lasting impact. Thank you again for your time today. Until next time, take care, stay safe, and keep the spirit of remembrance alive on Immortal News.